Hey friends, I'm back again today with a couple more pocket letters. Um, these both use up some scraps and I, although the colored scheme is very different, uh, the design I just kept very similar. Um, for these ones I'm getting a little bit behind so I wanted quick and easy. And I'll walk you through um, each of them and show you the goodies in the pockets. But here's the purple one, which was what my swap partner really liked purple. So we have that one. And then here it is in ones that are a little bit, uh, these were just scraps. Love to use up the scraps, but you'll see a lot of uh, similarities in the design. And I figure why reinvent the wheel? Um, just get in and, and get it done. So we'll start with the purple one. We have the high pocket in the upper hand corner. And that is gonna have some page flags. The second pocket is actually going to have double the goodies. Uh, the front portion it has some clear flat plastic flowers and then behind it it has some acetate buttons. They're like stickers. The image of buttons without the bulk. So we have half a butterfly and on the back side we have a washi sample. Love the way how this card turned out with the book text and the sparkly hearts and then the pearls. And then we have stickers. And then this pocket is just tea and a butterfly. We have a couple of these that are double, double gifties. So we have some punched out stamped images. We have some sparkly hearts and a, a chipboard frame. The design of these cards has just kept it very basic. Um, I was able to use up a lot of scraps which I loved. So we have some fun paper clips and a ribbon sample. And as the card says, tags. So I have paper tags. Oh, I don't know how that got in there. And punch outs. And then this last pocket is the other half of the butterfly, some more ribbon, and then that doodle letter that I'm including. Um, I'm including this with all my one time swaps. It's just an about me doodle letter. Thought it was fun to include a little bit about me, um, you know, my own doodling. And I just printed off some copies of that, and that is this first completed one. A little sparkly arrow. It's fun. All right, so here's the second one. More pastel colors. So we have the high card here, and with those same punch outs, we have. Uh, some of the acetate buttons and a washi sample. We have felt flowers here instead of the plastic ones. And we have punch outs and a chipboard frame, T. And you can see the same, same design here with the hearts and the circles and the pearls. We have some little craft sticker tags which are fun. I think I found those at my local Target dollar spot. Um, so, card here, so, stickers, tags. You see, I kept the design just exactly the same. It worked even though the pattern paper was different. It's just a nice basic design. Um, it doesn't mean I cared about this pocket letter any less, but it helped me to not spend so much time um, reinventing the wheel. So it really worked for me. I still love the way it turned out. And then of course I'll put a doodle letter in this corner. And that's two completed pocket letters ready to be mailed. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Be sure to rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.